Yo guys, um, this is gonna be a vlog. I'm gonna be doing my first vlog. And let's see how it goes. I don't know what I should include in these vlogs. Uh, I'm gonna cut my hair while I just trim. You know, I just trim this baby. Trim it all with my clippers. Do I have to record everything? Now to clean up. You know that if uh, you're waiting for the hot water to run, it will come out much faster if you let it run out of here rather than through there. So just letting you know for the future. Okay, my uh, hair is very different, isn't it now? <laughs> uh, yeah, I know it's not. It's not a difference at all. But that's squared away. Now I can, uh, I can, I can give this little pupper a walk. Ready to go for a walk, my ducks? Hmm? Here's my computer setup, dual monitors. I'm video editing. I'm almost done. I just made the thumbnail for this coming up Zen Ocean Yoga. This is the final video in the yoga series. It looks really cool. Like really difficult in the ocean, but it can be done. Yeah. It looks pretty magical. Anyway, time to walk the dog. I'm driving up the local mountain here so that I could walk the dog on a cool trail. I think it'd be nicer. Gotta switch it up, you know? Can't just walk the same streets over and over, right? Right, my dogs? Well, I do it for her as much as I do it for me. The selfie stick. <laughs> sniffing intensely. Nobody, need, nobody even knows what they're sniffing. They can sniff anything. Dogs can even sniff out cancer. Did you know that? So like, if you have like, let's say five different people and they all pee in a cup, the dog can detect which person just from their urine has cancer. We don't even know what they're smelling in there that they can be trained to do that. They can be trained to detect which patient just from their urine has cancer which is really impressive because it turns out that if you train a dog to do that it's cheaper than a lab test that is the lab test or a Labrador test <laughs> down there you can see a house with a mudslide the backyard is destroyed by a mudslide oh well life goes on until it doesn't right my ducks let's keep going Right around here, we get to the corner. We get this magnificent view. This is the Pacific Ocean from Malibu. Did you know that the Pacific Ocean is called Pacific because it's pacified, meaning gentle, peaceful? Did you know that, Medex? Yeah, yeah, you did. Oh yeah, one thing I didn't show is that uh, I'm barefoot. I do barefoot hiking. I've been doing it for like three years now. I've been barefoot walking for like eight years. In general, you just feel so much more sensation, so much more variety in everything. There's a constant connection to the ground. And we miss out on that when we wear those shoes. I wear shoes, but you know, I have to wear them in the city. But when I'm out in clean areas, hey, being barefoot's cool. <laughs> Medox is barefoot. All right, this is a difficult thing to capture. <laughs> All right, so for the last leg of the hike, I will be carrying her down because she's so cute. No, because it's a very steep, steep part and her feet are sensitive these days. Medox is over a hundred years old in human years. She's like, almost 15 years old basically 15 times 7 it's a little over 100 so yeah medax you don't look like you're 100 do you no all right that hike was a success thanks for watching everybody